Well, welcome to my office, my mobile office. Um, here, this is where I do a lot of my work in the sense of going to people and phone calls and so forth and so on. So this is my mobile office. We don't necessarily uh, have my office outside of my house and, and my own ha home that where I do a lot of my work and stuff. But uh, this is my mobile office. Welcome to it. As we are continuing on in our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And today we're looking at the whole area on day four, Jesus, our Savior. This is day four of the 21 days of prayer and fasting. And we want to encourage you in a lifestyle of prayer. Let's remember that prayer is a conversation with God, letting God speak to your heart as you speak to God's heart. And I just want to encourage you in that. And so as we look at today's thing of Jesus, our Savior, we already looked at Jesus, who is God, Jesus, who is Lord, Jesus, who is the Creator. Today, Jesus, our Savior. Let's remember the joy of our salvation when the unfolding, the revelation of Jesus came to us. When you start to realize that the God is and God is for you and the blinkers came off and you started to see that Jesus, who he is. I remember there was joy in that. There was excitement in that. There was shock in that. There was also sometimes like, who did, why didn't people tell me this before? And, and there was all of that. So we're going to meditate on that and pray through that. I want to look at one of the verses of scripture in your booklet. Again, remember, you can download the booklet there of the very first video. Uh, in this series, both on Facebook and YouTube, the link is there and print it off for yourself or read it off your phone. We're looking at day four and let's look at the scripture for the scriptures for meditating and praying out today. John chapter one, verses 29, a very familiar passage of scripture to many of you. I quote it again and again. It's an anchor scripture. Look what it says. John chapter one, verses 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That's a fantastic verse. Now I want to turn to the next passage. It's in Romans chapter 5, verses 6 and 8, and it says this. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will someone or anyone die for a righteous man. Though for a good man, someone might possibly dare die, to die. But God demonstrated his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Again, another verse of scripture that uh, is in the booklet turning to is in John 20 verses 31. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that in believing you may have life in his name. So I pray that we remember the joy that we had, the passion that we had, and also as we remember that giving thanks, that we also pray that for others as well, both in our family and, and our church and, and in the city or the town that we're in. So let's pray along these lines. Lord Jesus, help us. Holy Spirit, help us to remember and to, to reveal to us afresh the goodness of God towards us in that even though we are broken people, even, even as Christians, not always walking in the way that we should walk, that Jesus, you are our Savior. Father, that you sent your Son, Jesus, to save us. Lord God, we thank you that you care for us, you demonstrated your love for us, you, you made a way for us. It's established. Not only do you forgive us in your heart and in your word, but you established it through the death and resurrection of Jesus, the blood death, he died for us. Lord God, we're thankful for that. We remember that. Help us to remember it in our hearts. Help us to be thankful for that and the passion of that and the joy of our salvation. Help us to remember that more and more as we, as those of you who entered into baptism, will enter into baptism, remember our baptism. Help us to remember it again and again as we come to the communion table. Lord God, help us to remember daily that you, Lord Jesus, saved us from our own sin and are still saving us from our even sins today, that the work of your resurrection life in us. Lord God, we thank you for that. And Father God, help us as individuals and as families and as a church. Help us, Lord Jesus, to bring that good news to others and to know that the word is written, that people would believe and in believing they'd have eternal life, the power of these truths to us. Lord God, help us to be able to bring the scriptures alive to other people. Help us to witness the resurrection life by our lifestyle and our words. 
Help us, Lord God, as a church to gather together and as a powerful gathering together to witness to your resurrection life and bring others into the joy of salvation. Lord Jesus, you are our Savior. You are our Lord. You are our God. You are our Creator, but you are our Savior. Lord Jesus, we're thankful, and by your grace, may others in our families, others in our communities come to know you as you truly are. You are the Savior, but may they know you as their Savior. God bless you. Be blessed and be a blessing. God bless you. Amen.